Hey everybody, here's Jika and I'm here to do a, another Angry Grandpa reaction video with this one being the Summer Fail Night. This is going to be interesting because because of the fact that, that I remember hearing something about this a while back and, and I want to hear from Angry Grandpa's point of view of it. Now the link to the original video is going to be in the description box on Grandpa's Corner. And, well, let's see what the summer film like is. Here we go. So Dad locked the door. I'm trying to get him. He's supposed to be telling me the story of the Somerville Light tonight, and he's not here. It was actually pretty fucking creepy outside right now. Come on, I'm getting scared out here. Get out of here. You promised to tell me that story. Well, Nick, you came back tonight just for that. Yes, you promised. Like it's dark. Yeah, no shit is dark. Alright. You promised to tell me the story of the Somerville Light. Oh, the Somerville Light. One night we were sitting around the house and we were talking about things to do, something to do that night. And there was about four of us and we had a pickup truck. So old Mac, he said, let's go out to Somerville Light. I've heard about it, but I've never seen it before. So I took off, we took off and jumped in his truck. And had his dog with us, man. I, now this is the part where we get to the dog. So we go to Somerville Light. And we're sitting there about an hour, nothing happens. And I'm like, man, fuck, let's go home. For so people who don't know, what is the Somerville Light? The Somerville Light is a legend here in Somerville. There, there was a trail railroad track. And every night this conductor would get off, go to this one part of the track, and the train would slow down, and he would jump off. And his wife would come to meet him and with a lantern every night. I'm getting wet, Michael. With a lantern every night, and they're walking back home around midnight. So, she went to get him one night, and he fell off the train. And when he fell off the train, his head went under the track, onto the track, and the wheel cut his head off, his body. Ay, ay, ay. That would be a nasty way to die. But this actually kind of reminds me of the, um, that... Uh, that techie techie thing where, where um, about how a young Japanese lady died by being sliced in half by, by a train. But that'd be nasty to lose your head like that. Well, when the old lady got there, she found his body, but she didn't find his head. So every night she goes, they say I like coming to the railroad track, and there's no railroad track there anymore. It's been gone, but. Her, and she would go there, you see that lion every night, she'd come way down there in the road, you see a little flicker of a light, and then all of a sudden the light, right up on you. And it's her looking for his head. So anyway, we're out there, you know, and, my know, this is a true story. It's a Somerville true legend. Were you drinking this night? No, sir, I wasn't drinking, and I wasn't smoking no dope. So we're out there in the pickup truck, and I'm in the back with the dog. And all of a sudden, we sit there about an hour, goes by, an hour and a half, two hours go by, nothing happened. And I'm like, Matt, let's just go home, man. I'm cold. There ain't no such thing as something I'm like. And all of a sudden, Matt said, oh, shit, now, but, now, but it's cool, so they got the truck running to keep the heat on inside the cab. And Matt said, look, look, look. Boy, and I looked down there, and it was a little, looked like a little light. You know how a candle light is. Fuck you. Did you have to do the fucking jump scare, bitch? Not cool, man. I'm trying to eat some food here as well. That's, that makes it worse. You might, you might not be able to tell because of the plushie here. Because of my plushie counterpart, Toy Chica. But... But the guy who's voicing me... But the vo person who's voicing me over there is actually eating food. Yeah. Good. 
I don't know where I was. <laughs> anyway, Max says, look, look. And I look. You know how candlelight flickers, Michael? Yeah. It was like a little flickering light. And I said, damn, just a little light. By the time I got it out of my mouth, that light was over our fucking truck. It was, it was like vibrating real blue, you know, boom, boom, boom. It got over the truck, and the, and the truck just cut off. There was no power to the truck. All the power was gone. And that dog, and every hair on that dog's back was standing straight up, and he was looking at that light, Michael. He was looking at that light like, oh my God, oh my God. And that light stood there for like five minutes. And I'm going, oh my God, I couldn't move. I couldn't jump out the truck. I couldn't do a damn thing. Nobody could. And that dog, man, was like moaning like, like it was hurt or something. And all of a sudden, the light went, boom, gone. And then the truck just cranked. And from this day on, I can honestly truly say, I saw the Somerville light. I saw the old lady hunting for her husband's head. That dog really saw it because that dog was scared to death. That's the story. Have of you seen my husband's head? Go home. <laughs> Wait. Go home. No, I'm I'm going to come in. Yeah, candlelight. <laughs> God damn it, Michael. I'm just I have to do it. <laughs> You can't blame, you can't, you can't blame Angel Grandpa for, um, for saying, for saying holy shit and motherfucker, because, because he had a damn good reason why he said that for. And, and I think, I think any, I think anybody would say that, or what he said, in that situation if, if some person, if some random person jump scared the shit out of you. And I'm glad that that it's almost October time because there's some creepy doo doo. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this reaction video. Um, if you did, please give a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. The link to the original video is in the description box. And until next time, bye bye and have a nice day.